I believe in God. I believe in the supernatural God who created the heavens and the earth. I believe in a God who holds the heavens and the earth in existence. I believe that on the basis of rational evidence, similar to the beliefs held by the founders of this house, who gave this university the motto, Dominus Illuminatio Mea. They saw no contradiction between faith in God and the utmost excellence in rational inquiry. I would remind you that on the door of the Cavendish Laboratory in Cambridge are written the words, Great are the works of the Lord, studied by all who delight in them. I want to explain what exactly faith is as I understand it and describe to you why I believe that Christian faith and the Christian experience are ultimately founded on logical processes of thought. Even though I grew up in a Christian household, I didn't really know what faith was when I was younger. I didn't know whether faith was some kind of blind belief. I didn't know whether faith was of my own doing or whether God gave me this faith as a sort of enlightenment. I just wasn't sure. I couldn't quite put my finger on what faith was. And that wasn't necessarily anyone's fault but my own. I think it just took me a while to really understand what exactly faith was. As I grew up, it became more and more problematic to me that I didn't know what faith was because I would read passages like Ephesians 2, 8, and 9 which state faith as being key to one's salvation. And I thought to myself, if faith is this important to my salvation, then I really need to know what it is. It wasn't until my college years, I would say, that someone explained faith in a way that I could really wrap my mind around that really made sense to me in the context of the Bible and Christianity. I was listening to a sermon called What Faith Knows and Hopes For by John Piper. And in this sermon, Piper describes faith as a type of spiritual sight. Piper looks at Hebrews 11.1, 1, which says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. That's from the NKJV. He asks the very relevant question, how can faith something that a lot of us see as just this blind belief. How can faith be substantial and how can faith be evidence of something? The answer to this question becomes clear when you read Hebrews 1.1 in association with Romans 1.20, which says, For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes, that is God's invisible attributes, his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood through what has been made, so that they are without excuse. So this idea of faith being substantial or faith being evidence of something works together with Romans 120 in this way. When someone looks at nature, they could have a couple conclusions. They could either come to the conclusion that the universe was made through random processes excluding God, or they could come to the conclusion that God made the universe like the Bible claims. What Christian faith does is it removes the lenses or the filters of misconception so that you can see the world as it was intended to be seen. So when faith is granted to a Christian by God, he can look at nature and know that God created it. and figure out some things about God based on his creation. So faith really is the proper seeing of evidence or the proper perceiving of substance that would point one to God. When God grants a person faith, he is removing a blindfold from their eyes, so to speak, allowing them to see the universe life and God as they were meant to be seen. So you might be wondering how this fits into the idea of faith and the Christian experience being based on logical processes of thought. If we have the conception of faith that says faith is the seeing of evidence that leads to God or the perceiving of the substance that leads to God, as opposed to faith just being belief that's not really founded in anything, we immediately have a more logical foundation for faith in the Christian life. So instead of me as a Christian saying, I believe this because I want it to be true, or I believe it because my parents believed it, or I believe it because I don't want to go to hell. I can say that I believe in the God of Christianity because God has granted me the sight to see the evidence and the substance that point to his being real. Mm -hmm.